when I started playing Taonga Puro, that gave me the underpinning of being involved in a movement for your people. I started loving music and I started finding my own voice through culture. I'd been teaching myself how to play Taonga Puro by making instruments out of clay, out of bamboo, having friends who had those instruments and picking them up and having the tutu. First, he's an innate musician. He's worked with so many groups of people, so many different performers. It might be Maisy Rika, it might be the New Zealand String Quartet, New Zealand Trio. He's very much a leader in the field of Tong Puro. When I first heard the CD called Te Te Fen, I sat there for the whole album crying. I found out the musicians and the artists on it was Hidden in Melbourne and Richard Nunns and just after 2000, 2001, I got to finally meet them, Papa Hirini and Papa Richard and then eventually Papa Brian Flintoff who made the instruments and from there they were my papa and the stories that Hirini and Richard would share about each instrument made me part of it. He has inherited the tradition from Hirini and Richard and brought his own mana to it. To be recognised as a laureate is a beautiful blessing. It lets my tamariki know all oh, the hard work Papa's done over the years is actually being recognised and that people do see. I delivered my babies with these two hands, playing Taonga Puro. And so Taonga Puro wasn't just about the artistry or the creative side, it was actually about life. 